Would you believe it that all of these paper bits are here on this page? Trash to treasure, recycled elements paintings. Hello my beautiful friends, let's grab some book with paint samples and let's collage. I have a vision once more. I'm gonna use pieces of paper to create a collage, to create a journal page, to use watercolors with it. Whatever we're gonna decide to make, I really wish to do something different. Um, I'm just really wishing for mosaic. Is that a, even a word? Do you know mosaic like where you have pieces of glass and they have like the same color or something like I really wish for something of this sort here and I have these beautiful colors around me because I have been gifted these books you know when you're painting your house and you have all these books with different inspirations paint samples books inspirational guides Fantastic idea. I got them from my friend Angela. She, when she was painting her living room, I think, and uh, corridor, I think she, when she have left these, she was like, oh, I know, Marta can actually benefit from them. Uh, of course, I'm delighted that she brought them to me. I have tons of them. She brought them all and I gladly took them all. So how about making like little flower, maybe flower in a vase. How about making sure, we're gonna doodle as well. I love doodles, you know me. And I think we it's gonna be fantastic if we could just have a little bit of a play that will allow us to be free, will allow us to experiment and just use no cost product as well. So we're gonna be trying to use this opportunity that we have right now uh, to create something pretty without spending much money for art supplies. So basically we're gonna try <laughs> try and make this possible, um, be creative, make art without spending tons of money for art supplies and actually use what you have around the house and I think that's super important so that's one of the flower but I'm thinking one can go here and one can be here so we could have a little bit more color as well on this one this could be together maybe we could have one more sure you know what it could be a busy busy uh, page with some pretty flowers uh, around I don't know what are we gonna do vase whether like I don't know I honestly I don't mind but I think what's important is to just start and just to try and make something and then we're gonna we're gonna see once we start gluing and things like that we will decide which direction we're heading this could be like that and this could be like this or maybe we could swap this could be like here this flower could be like I don't know, like this or something. How about if we grab some like gray as well? Maybe gray together with this one or something. Like make make them double. Uh, as in, I I cut these earlier, and that was my first initial inspiration for that particular flower. Do you know what? I also wish for this flower not to be this perfect looking flower. So when I say not so much perfect looking flower, um, it's like one, two, three, four, like, you know, the way as we paint or draw in school and we thought to do it. I think I would love a little bit of crazy looking flower maybe, or like more arty. I guess that's the best, like art flower, arty flower, like this one, for example. So we have one flower that, like this one is maybe too big because it goes off the page, so that's okay. So we can just join this with this one, for example, and that's lovely already. And so we have one flower going here, then another one going here, and maybe we could have like sh something go here. That would be lovely, right? So we could, like we then definitely are going to decide about, oh, I love that. Look about whether we're gonna add leaves, whether we're just gonna do like what we're gonna do. We sure we, we'll just say, um, let's just go for it, guys. Let's just you know, let's just jump in right here. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and I will start gluing down. Now, I think the gluing part right now may be slightly difficult because it's like a little bit, um, it's like collaging, but I never really collage this way. So I'm not too sure if I'm doing it in any sort of right form. But you know what? We're just learning and 
that's about it now if you don't have paint colors guys I'm pretty sure you can use any magazine use any magazine you have because that's the like that's the main thing like use the magazine so that you can have different colors from the magazine and I'm pretty sure you'd be perfectly fine with that so use magazine and they don't have to be paint samples I'm using paint samples because I have them and I don't have magazines to be honest but I'm sure that some of you are still reading newspapers or buying magazines like actually do, do any of you does any of you buy still magazines because I think it's a it's the, it's this type of uh, sort of thing that it's probably like gun kind of my mom used to buy magazines uh, newspapers she would read a lot but then times changed and also she changed and I guess internet came and yeah she no longer used the the paper paper magazines paper newspapers paper newspapers you know not anymore but you, she used to just like probably like most people that there was like like it was every day two three newspapers a day not magazines per se but newspapers for all the news and everything oh look how gorgeousness is that uh, let's just jump in with this this one this is like the one that's gonna stand next to it this one is gonna be like flap a little bit <laughs> look so it's like a f tulip but not like I mean not necessarily tulip but let's say it's tulip um, let's see I'm just using regular print stick so nothing you know nothing too advanced so any school glue would be just fine um, maybe I'm trying to see which which direction which composition this could go but I guess this could be it as well and maybe I could like do it like this lovely um, I feel that in some parts possibly we are lacking of the glue but I, I think that's okay too you know maybe I can swap like this no I like the first version which was which was this one I think so kind of unevenish same yeah maybe of this sort look anything will do <laughs> I think oh I love that I absolutely love that now I'm gonna maybe uh, treat everything with clear gesso and I think this will allow us to then do a little bit of maybe watercolors on top maybe we could do a little bit of yeah probably mixed media ish thing however wouldn't that be nice to, to do the kind of leafy leaf thing is there any color that like obviously this is um teal already so green would make sense but i don't know if actually the natural colors why not to do it a little different and you know uh, yeah because it's a magical flower that doesn't mean that I can't have my leaves non colory like you know I think am I right um, what I may do look I'm just ripping in a kind of almond shapes all of these they kind of almondy shapes but again um, it's up to yourself however you find find it and uh, now let me just see if I can have like this one going like that this one like this for example and this one like that that's a good start right so we can then plan plan and see if we could have no for some reason the maybe I'm gonna stick with the similar situation that I've done with this page which was doodling on my own if you haven't seen this page it's on the channel so check it out not long time ago we've done it then after that we had this one gorgeousness and now we have this uh, unique little flowerito I love that I think adding this is telling me a little bit of oh do you know what we could do uh, we could do a little bit of the darker oh maybe this one. Oh wow or one second this could be like here this could be like here oh I love that and 
the middle part. Oh, this is so cute, right? I think so. These are actually, <laughs> this is funny because these are the real dot dot dotty things. Which I love and I may just leave that particular paint sample thing as it is. Maybe we're gonna match it with one more. It's this one and where was it? Let's see. It's like, it is gonna be like more like, um, uh, like more like Marta. Think, think, it's early morning guys. It's 10 a.m. It's like, it's way too early for, <laughs> for being able to think. And you know what? I haven't greeted you with coffee, so cheers my beautiful friends. Happy Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> happy Wednesday. Believe it or not, I have three visions for these flowers. So that's our pot number one. That it's a lamp, obviously, from the magazine. We could technically cut it and use it as our pot. That's one of the idea. Another is this bath, and I can imagine it to be there and another one is to maybe make a flower pot from the music notes or a mug again a cup or something I don't know honestly let's try the bath first but before we try the bath we can glue down this part which is the little tiny thingy so that's awesome let's have it there same for this one and the middle part of our flower now there we go and let's just have this one right, jumping in here and then a little bit of that there I love it I love the mosaic effect well it's not probably that very much mosaic -y. <laughs> I like to think about it like that but I, I'd say yes it's it's a little bit of yeah, it's kind of mosaic -y, but not like, I mean, yeah, not yet. I, I'm getting there, right? I can add a touch of that as well. Just trying to see the size-wise. You know what? This could be nice to add there. Hopefully. Yeah. And maybe I'm thinking of this here part, which is like... I don't know, like this tiny, tiny bit to make this less squarish. I'd say so, like this. There we go. Or turn it around. Oh, well, and one more here, look. And we're gonna be like really, really, really. Um, there we go. That's really flowery looking, right? I love it. I have to say it's very bright to my liking so I hope in the screen you are able to see this beautiful page that it's coming together together now another thing is that we could for example jump in with some shades of some bright decor or maybe white or something now that's a that's very much <laughs> just came to me now oh but I like that look I think it's nice because oh, the birdies, that's some sort of reminder, our calendar or something, that's Lucas's reminder. Maybe pick up kids from school, but it's a bit too early still. Uh, maybe like this. Oh, wow, I love that. We can grab white indeed and just have a little bit of play with shades of... of, um, of stuff going on so that's gonna be more mosaic -y, right I'd say so oh I love that white is always like a, a lovely addition to things don't be afraid of white uh, I think in the watercolor world white isn't a best friend of artists and I don't know why is that because white is my really f like I use it a lot if I have to choose one color and I think I've asked you in the community tab what's my favorite color to use in art I think it would be white because of white splashes because of white gesso because of feeling that white it's like a great this great kind of addition to 
addition to everything you know it's kind of it's a fixer it's a helping hand it's like it's really it's really like doing well to our projects a lot of times it's rescuing the project it's it's helping out it's it's everything i honestly feel that so you know um I think even now just adding touches of that white strips it's kind of like it's I don't know it's just something else like I don't know I don't know like look I'm doing this for the first time this kind of arty arty feel here so let's leave it at that I like what I see right now my question is still the same question let's fussy cut let's put these leaves aside let's fussy cut this bat now this can be a totally crazy silly idea and this could be a totally amazing idea now let's keep the let's keep that that there this one uh let's see look i think with the collage i like the, f the the fact that you can really collage anything and the more crazy collages you see that things are sticking out from people's heads or whichever i think that's a that's a real treat and real beauty of the collage artists that are there and making those amazing like um they nearly like paper assemblage and i love that i used to do assemblage like that on canvases I don't think I am into it uh, now. I'm more paper crafter um, in heart now, um, I, which still doesn't make me completely stop of doing the mixed media uh, thing. Think we'll see, because you know, I think I'm gonna cover that bit with some color. color. Uh, but I love the paper craft. I, I guess if you ask me why, why, why things are were going this way. I think it's the fact that you can fit in so many projects in one book. I think this is my absolute main... Oh, I, lo <laughs> I love this. I do love this. I think I'm gonna cover it like kind of this way. Absolutely. So I'm gonna jump in with my glue. Now I'm not still a hundred percent sure we're gonna execute it like this. We'll see. Uh, but I do like the idea in general because it's kind of the only one I have right now. <laughs> and it does look lovely. And it's a cute idea. It's something different and I love the fact we can have <laughs> a bath. It's, it actually looks like paper, um, you know, paper hats and you can put them in the water a little bit. This reminds me. <laughs> what a weird thing. The, the only thing is that if this not too flat, like this could actually be amazing as a hat for someone. Imagine that. Um, I'm I'm nearly looking around to for some, yeah, for some. I don't know. Do we want that in the bath, or we're gonna? Dr I honestly don't know. Or maybe we could draw something. Let's see what's gonna happen. How things are gonna be. If we'll just grab, oh, if we just grab this paper, old book page, that's it. Sometimes it's important to just, to just do stuff, like to move forward. I think to, to move forward is probably one of the most important. You're not, oh, I like that. I'm starting to, I'm starting to like that now. It's not possible to know it all. Oh, I love that actually. I, I think I know the problem. The problem is that I have moved, not moved, I have drew this, which is no need for that right now because we can still fit in whatever. But at least we had an, an, an idea and that's okay. And now we can decide about it. I don't think I, I'm a huge fan of this shape. Let's try again, you know, because I have plenty of papers. So I can just try it again and don't worry I'm gonna use this we could have it to get oh we could have it to get oh it is a, oh I love it like that look 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 it is so beautiful because it's not even it is not like a proper it, it looks like a flower pot actually not a vase not a cup it's a flower pot I'm gonna just hold it as it is because I love how um, uneven that is and 
how perfectly imperfect I just love that so good good I'm gonna grab more glue here and just oops stick it together and I love the idea of having these look how this actually turned like it, it goes there which is lovely because there is more like there's free space there there isn't there is a flower more free space so if we skip like that look it wouldn't be as nice right because it's touching the flower but look by accident sometimes it's accident it goes there it's filling the spot the space there and it's fantastic I love that we have by accident yet again we have the music notes this way and then we have this way like vertical hor uh, horizontal vertical I mean seriously I just love it question is are we gonna add a for the f it's a flower pot but we could make a mug from it I guess right we like I mean we could so we may as well just have a try if it's lovely we keep it if it's not we skip it oh that rhymed <laughs> that even rhymed okay let's see I love the idea of doing all of it from pieces of paper this is just insanely well and good and awesome now this is very arty pot uh, mug whatever I absolutely love it it does remind of course of the very first project which I don't want to well you know I caught this one it's different this one is different it's like wow <sighs> No, uh, do you know what? Let's make it different. Let's skip this. Let's not make this a pot. Uh, no, let's not make this a, a mug. Let's make it a pot because it's beautiful, you know. I love it. Look, La yeah, let's just glue it down. I'm so happy because I, I love the idea of mug, but I didn't want to repeat it. I love the idea of, uh, yet again, of music notes, but I didn't want to repeat it. So it's like we're repeating it, the first page, which just was so beautiful, and why not repeat it? But you want to be unique, you don't want to repeat, because you would like those that watch the videos to come and be inspired. So I hope this tiny change, it is inspirational enough to get it, like, to know, like, you, small changes sometimes make a huge difference. Now let's just grab the gesso, you know, and let's just go over with the gesso thing it's a watercolor paper that I'm using but recently I was texting with one of my lovely uh, friends and she was saying that she's into watercolors now and she's gonna treat because she's no watercolor paper so she's gonna treat her um, paper cardstock with gesso and that should work for watercolor so we're gonna see I think it will work of course because I oftentimes I would color my projects after I gesso stuff I wouldn't I wasn't particularly making watercolor paintings but I I did watercolor my projects like edges and stuff but I wanted to say as well that she had mentioned that she loves both of my channels which is Marry Me Small Art the one that you're watching right now and Marry Me Simple Craft which is the new channel that I opened I think I opened in December but I fully started adding videos I think February so it has like six, six months or something and I encourage you to check it out if you love painting because I'm gonna be painting stuff and I so regret that I painted this off camera because it's so beautiful and I didn't record that so I'm gonna probably redo this one version for the for the that the other channel because I just love this project so much and I was just testing the waters testing out my paper and my hand I was sitting down and this the gorgeousness project just appeared I'm like ah oh, shoot why did not I press record? But then that's okay. I be I believe that once I will start recording, it's gonna turn out different, which is which is fine. So what's next, my beautiful friends? I think let's dry this. Everything is just sold. Let's dry this. I think we need a lot of um, no, we don't need a lot. I think we need definition of that project, which is outlining with our pilot GTEC. Check the link in the description. It's the best pen in the world for doodling for outlining for anything of this sort mm, um, and we will do a little bit of watercolors I'm gonna jump in and see which colors we can we can add to that to make this lovely I have this paint that I think could be yes it could be a lovely lovely addition um, especially here on the 
on the like here where the darker is and I'm just thinking maybe we could do a little bit of that painting here I don't know just you know that that was just an idea just to see if we could have oh I love this actually because it's it's making um, actually Lucas is packing the orders uh, so finally we're shaping the orders I'm so happy uh, if you didn't know we have sale boxes in the store we have sale items from my studio and in the store and some rice paper and tissue paper I'm back in stock so check it out so I'm glad that finally things are moving forward with the school starting and all it is just doable I guess <laughs> which earlier was a little bit tough look how gorgeousness is that and I mean it look at this um, I somehow wish for the project to be to not feel a uh, kiddie project I don't know what uh, why am I saying that but you know when sometimes we have these kids uh, projects where they like doing stuff with the magazines and stuff and then they cutting the shape of the flower and that's okay I somehow wish a little bit push it into more being arty arty farty <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean so maybe with the dude link I think we can uh, that floor that is squeaking it just so annoying I think no so basically we're gonna try to do a little bit of that here oh I love it so very much I love it now I wish to know the color but I don't I don't have much of an idea what color is that to be honest so please don't uh, please <laughs> please forgive me that oh that's a little too far with the coloring I think going because we're just kind of losing its um its shape of a flower I love these like this and this it's phenomenal now I somehow regret that maybe I could have done like a bigger loop like different shape of flower maybe next time Marta next time next there's always next time and as Lucas says there's always a solution so next time next time I love this so much this is gorge gorgeousness wow Wow, I wish this as well to be, um, to be, what's the word, to be feeling watercolory, if you know what I mean. Um, the shades and all, maybe a little bit more there. Oh, I just adore this. Now, gorgeousness. We need this to dry or we just jump in with our favorite uh, pen, with our favorite Pilot G Taxi 4. Check the link, check the link. Let's just go for it, Marta. Let's just go for it. Like, like let's just go for it. Oh, this is so cute now. So I'm, it's wet and I'm doodling on the wet and I'm doodling without much of a thinking, just doodle away, you know, on the wet, just whatever it feels right and I'm kind of following the lines but not like not a fully following the lines, if you know what I mean. I think the doodling will help very much this flower because it kind of will um will show the softness of the of the um of the um petals i think it is so pretty oh wow do you know what it's a great joy to to use these to use to, like to, uh, I just think it's so beautiful, you know. Let's go for the some bit of um, those lines, those stems from. Let let just be courageous and just jump in for that. I love this so much. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. You know when you have a vision sometimes and sometimes it feels that you can't you don't know how to actually 
do it she, like the execution is not there and it's difficult you know oh look how lovely it is to just have an extra semi clear transparent idea for the doodling like keeping the doodles even more you know like oh I love this so much and I oh do you know this book it's like a new book because like I don't know I just grabbed it and it's amazing that this book it's really <laughs> different in the feel of how I'm doing the project and what I'm using actually which is super I think it's super to do things a bit different and this book is giving me this permission to to just just go for it girl just go for it just use your new feel and this book is like a new feel I think so it's fantastic love 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 that wow this is gorgeousness. I have one thing that I probably wish to do, which is, I'm gonna just clean this a little bit. It's a little bit too dark, I think. Just tiny, tiny. There we go. Same for here. Just tiny, tiny. There we go. Um, I, I think I feel for a little bit of white. And look how gorgeous is this white kept here, this white kept here. I love it. I think it's fantastic. The other thing is that I'm just trying to think if we do a little bit of doodles, white somewhere doodles, or we do some, I don't know, some kind of um, white watercolors. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm so proud of this page, guys. You have no idea. <laughs> I really love it. Now, I will add a touch of white, and I'll show you where and how, and I'm thinking to do the white watercolors and just have like this kind of shading here going on or something I don't know just just a tiny same for here just a touches just and same maybe for here and here just a just ton tiny like just tiny have it highlight she kind of thing I'm not even gonna touch it much this is what I love it's like let's leave it as it is I think it deserved to be even left on its own as it is and that's gorgeous now I also feel that it could be lovely if I grab I think there is this I think there is this black is it no it's purple I thought so maybe next to it sometimes I don't know which color oh oh there we go it's this kind of brownie you can't see that's okay that's my watercolor palette that I just I have it and I just grab it whatever I just mix different different types of paints that I had and I'm just using that so this is that and I think it's lovely and I think it could be just nice to have it just to have it like like this kind of so we have this um, like darker feeling uh, in the corner. One second, I just wish to. Oh, I love it so much. A joint effort, color-wise, with this, col uh, with this, um, with this, oh, Marta. <laughs> sorry, uh, with this. Um, sorry, guys. It's too early morning, and English is not my first language. I just can't make up my my words. The joint color with the brownie watercolor and the pen itself that you can, as you know, I hope you know that it's a lovely idea that you can look, just touch and have a touch of that from that pen. Not too much. I think I like to have, keep it like still, yeah, like doodly ishy. I, oh my. Guys, I haven't done anything like this ever before. I haven't. I think I haven't. And I just adore it. And I'm so proud of it because it is so different and I think it's so doable to you and it's so arty as well. And I think this is what I love probably the most, that it is so arty. And I had a different vision altogether, but that's okay. Look, that's okay. Now we have some white. I'm thinking maybe, maybe baby. Yes, I think so because you know it's like it's it just basically helps us to um, 
to have a little bit of brighter kind of feel for that project as well maybe even like here and oh I love it oh guys let me know your thoughts and seriously if you if you're gonna tell me Marta I'm not arty oh, look at it like it's seriously like a piece of colors from the magazine a little bit of paint whatever paint you have like seriously that like no difference even and doodle stick it doodle and that's it like seriously you like it is so doable it is so doable and I'm so crazy proud of that project maybe I'm pre proud of it so much because it's watercolor it's collage it's no cost it's magazine it's uh, old book pages it's all that I love in one and also ability to actually paint sort of thing it's like I painted it I'm so proud of it I'm arty so I wish you to feel the same you know be proud of your work and just go for it and don't be afraid of wasting your supplies because there isn't much supplies here being used truthfully so I so love it you know what we deserve a chocolate guys we deserve a dark chocolate together cheers for that mmm gorgeousness use dark chocolate as many coca as possible the healthiest option ever I eat a chocolate of this kind big I have it for three days on my own. <laughs> I love it. It's very healthy. It's very good for you. Just do it mm. So I'd be munching my chocolate. So I'd be Talking probably slightly different. That's okay. I hope I hope you don't mind because I'm home you are home So I hope we can be home with each other happily and just enjoying a little bit of that a little bit of this and Even enjoying the chocolate together when I was pregnant my old videos I used to eat a lot on the camera <laughs> Who remembers that? Because I was pregnant and of course I was munching constantly. Um, I think it's so funny. Wow. I so love it. Seriously, I'm so proud of this one. And you know what else is good? It is mine. I, I feel it so me. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> no splashes this time. I think it's I think we're done I can't believe it the only one more thing is I think I feel that it could be nice to have a um, touch of that white color watercolor here just even more like just like that there we go mm-hmm but in this oh I love the white chocolate mm, the dark chocolate sorry white chocolate as well I love by the way but it's not the healthiest so Try not to eat. Oh, that's interesting. Touch. Oh wow. It it feels even more arty and more arty with each touch. Like wow. You know? Wow. Okay. No, I'm scared to to destroy it. So I'm gonna leave it. I may just even just have a touch like this. yeah let's just leave it just in case okay Marta leave it <laughs> don't go too crazy about it I love these two so pretty I love it okay but last thing it's this here I need better outline there we go so it's it's still valid I love this so so much how about a little bit of that that's a very spontaneous thought I just went for it and and you know what that's okay oh I love this even with the tiny frame oh voila what you think I wish to actually hear your thoughts right now I wish you to be sitting next to me and think oh, Marta this is gorgeousness Marta we love it we love it <laughs> And uh, my beautiful friends, I think, oh wait, to make it more journal-y think, how about adding some title? I think it would be so fabulous. I think I have it. Life is never ending garden of growth. I love that. Then we have growth 
will always bring the light which matches so beautifully and somehow I feel that it would be lovely to have maybe tiny something else here practice can like I don't know which one as yet sick magic every day oh I love that I love them all honestly start doing things that you love and that's my message to you today absolutely let's do that here we go a little bit of outlining of course I think this title on the pot kind of makes it even more um, more journaling -y, more mixed media ishy. I think that's kind of how I sense it, feel it, love it and adore it and all together it is just well I decided to go back and redo the center because I feel it could we could do a little bit more so I'm trying to build a little bit more of the contrast between like white and a color and I just thought that it would be nice to have maybe dots of black as well going on and same for this part so to have this a little bit darker because I just felt that it is not striking enough so maybe I could just give it a little bit more time honestly and that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna just add it in here but you know what I love the inside being irregular it's like a separate nearly flower on its own and I really think that adding these uh, black dots as well helps and I just feel that maybe I'm gonna grab watercolor uh, like and this super pointy brushy brush and one second let's see let's do it again and maybe yes and have a little bit of more white painting kind of more striking vivid um, white going on oh definitely am I right I hope you can see that what I'm trying to say it's just that I feel that we could have the center even more gorgeous basically even more gorgeousness so in a way we kind of um, we kind of lost probably that's the best word to put we kind of lost a little bit of that um, collage feel but then honestly we are gaining phenomenal center of a flower which I think it's 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 good as well it's okay to make a decision this way that I really wish my center to be beautiful and have a chance to be so striking beautiful and so eye-catching as well and so it's like it, it's this gorgeous center that it's like wow oh wow I love this project so the center is also important I think honestly Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Love this so much. Okay. Wow. This is so pretty. And I think it was missing. Honestly, I think it's okay to go. Look, it is okay. No, I think I truly believe it's okay to go back to your project, have a good feel about it, and you know, don't be afraid of I'm gonna just add those tiny as well like these maybe lines or something like these kinds so in here uh, I think it's go but it's good to go back to your project and make sure that it it really satisfy you at the way as it turning out and it's going back doesn't mean you fail going back it's to having a second thought and just doing it even better even nicer I honestly think it's it was just such a good idea because it kind of gives us this beautiful beautiful center that it's 
just a wow striking center of a flower. Super proud and happy to present you with this gorgeousness page. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. I'm gonna edit this video right away because I'm so excited. I'm so excited about that. Four simple steps. Get yourself a bits of papers, magazines here on the page. Create the composition, glue it down, paint it and then doodle on top of that and you're done and dusted. You can create such a gorgeous page as I have done. I promise you can. If I could, you most definitely have to try it for yourself. My beautiful friends, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much. Mind yourself and your loved ones. Get yourself some papers, get yourself some glue and just start gluing collagen with me. It is simpler than you think and it's actually quite satisfying. So yeah, I hope you will try it. Uh, till the next time, happy art journaling and I'll speak to you sooner than you think. I love you loads. Bye.